Germinal. The novel's central character is Etienne Lantier, previously seen in Lost Moir, 1877, and originally to have been the central character in Zola's murder on the train's thriller La Bedouman, 1890, before the overwhelmingly positive reaction to Germinal persuaded him otherwise. The young migrant worker arrives at the forbidding coal mining town of Monceau in the bleak area of the far north of France to earn a living as a miner. Sacked from his previous job on the railways for assaulting a superior, Etienne befriends the veteran miner Mao, who finds him somewhere to stay and gets him a job pushing the carts down the pit. Etienne is portrayed as a hard-working idealist but also a naive youth, Zola's genetic theories come into play as Etienne is presumed to have inherited his Makar ancestors' traits of hot-headed impulsiveness and an addictive personality capable of exploding into rage under the influence of drink or strong passions. Zola keeps his theorizing in the background and Etienne's motivations are much more natural as a result. He embraces socialist principles, reading large amounts of working-class movement literature and fraternizing with Souverain, a Russian anarchist and political emigre who has also come to Monceau to seek a living in the pits, and Rasseneur, a pub owner. Etienne's simplistic understanding of socialist politics and their rousing effect on him are very reminiscent of the rebel silver in the first novel in the cycle, La Fortune des Rougon, 1871. While this is going on, Etienne also falls for Mahou's daughter Catherine, also employed pushing carts in the mines, and he is drawn into the relationship between her and her brutish lover Cheval, a prototype for the character of Bouteau in Zola's later novel La Terre, 1887. The complex tangle of the miners' lives is played out against a backdrop of severe poverty and oppression, as their working and living conditions continue to worsen throughout the novel, eventually, pushed to breaking point, the miners decide to strike in Etienne, now a respected member of the community and recognized as a political idealist, becomes the leader of the movement. While the anarchist Souverain preaches violent action, the miners and their families hold back, their poverty becoming ever more disastrous, until they are sparked into a ferocious riot, the violence of which is described in explicit terms by Zola, as well as providing some of the novelist's best and most evocative crowd scenes. The rioters are eventually confronted by police and the army that repress the revolt in a violent and unforgettable episode. Disillusioned, the miners go back to work, blaming Etienne for the failure of the strike. Then, Souverain sabotages the entrance shaft of one of the Monceau pits, trapping Etienne, Catherine and Chaval at the bottom. The ensuing drama and the long wait for rescue are among some of Zola's best scenes, and the novel draws to a dramatic close. Etienne is eventually rescued and fired but he goes on to live in Paris with Pluchart, an organizer for the International.